Hey y'all, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be discussing my lock journey experience. So I did um, two strand twist um, on my hair and I started that on February 9th. So now I am six weeks locked. So I am super excited that I made it this far. Uh, what I did was I tracked my progress over each week just to show the different changes that I've noticed with my hair. Um, one thing I wanted to point out was that um, I forgot to do an update for week five, but you will see that in week five, I show how my hair looks and that's actually when I decided to retwist my hair. Um, also, another thing is that since this is my first time doing something like this, um, the recording and stuff might not come out as great as you know I wanted it to, but it's okay. And my facial expressions are kind of crazy, so just excuse that. Just pay attention to you know the hair and the progress of that. So at the end of the six week progress that I've shown, um, I did a little slideshow of all of the different hairstyles that I've done um, so far in that. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So this is it. I did really small parts and tried to make them as even as I could. Now let me see if I can show you the back. So this is how the back looks. This is my problem area right here. It's short and thin, but as they grow out, it'll get thicker, I'm hoping. This is the back. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is week two of my starter locks. I can definitely tell that they are getting thicker. Um, and I like that on the ends, they're curling up. But what I do notice, uh, what I've noticed in, um, in this time is that it's getting hard at the start of where my twists are. Like at the start of where the two, tr two strand starts, that's uh, where it's getting firm. But everywhere else is, you know, the same. So in the back, I can definitely tell that it's getting thicker, which is great because I already have thin hair. And in the last row, like at the nape of my neck, it is looser. It's on the looser end. So those are kind of unraveling a little bit, but I mean, it still has the twist structure, so that's fine. But I'm enjoying the look so far um, but what I've been doing every day um, in the morning and in the afternoon before bed well in at the night I can't talk at night before bed um, I spray my hair with water I have a little bit of uh, I believe peppermint oil in there and I spray it all over my hair and then I use vitamin E oil and I just put it on my scalp I massage my scalp and then I also rub it into my hair and then I just take sections of my hair and I kind of like make sure that the moisture and the oil is soaked in to um, each section. And then for styling, I've just been wearing it to the side and pinning one side like that. And um, yeah, I've been liking my look and then I'll put the little jewelry pieces in it when I'm going out or if it's a special occasion or whatever but on an everyday basis this is normally how I wear my hair like this you know kind of have a uniform going towards the back and I'll probably put like a red lipstick on or some lipstick on or whatever to jazz up my look so I've been loving this journey so far I started on February 8th today is February 16th so I'm super excited. I'm so, so, so happy that it's thickening up because that was my biggest worry is because I have thin hair. Um, when it's out um, in its natural state, it's thicker. Um, but like when I do twists or braids or whatever, as you can see like this, um, my hair is thinner and especially in the back. So I'm just glad that it's thickening up. Okay, so this is my hair on week three. I started on February 8th. It is now February 23rd, and this is how my hair is looking. It's starting to thicken up. My roots are thickening up, and I'm loving it. 
What I do notice too is, um, I think I mentioned before that where the hair, um, where I separated the hair to start twisting it in the beginning is getting more firm and harder. So I'm guessing that's a part of the locking process. So these are my locks and I will show you the back. So this is the back and my hair is thickening up like I wanted it to, so I'm happy about that. My hair in the nape of my neck is unraveling a lot more because um, my curl pattern back there is a lot looser. So I feel like that's why it's not staying as, uh, as uh, firm as the other twists, I guess. But it's okay because you can't really see it anyway. And I keep my same routine where in the mornings I'll spray my hair with water and in the water I have a little bit of peppermint oil, shake it up, spray it on my hair in the morning. And then I use an applicator bottle and I apply, or in the applicator bottle, I have avocado oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and vitamin E oil, mix that up. I put it in my scalp and massage it in. And then I also um, put some in my hand, rub my hands together and put it on my hair. I do it in sections and kind of squeeze it, lightly squeeze it into my hair so that the moisture can get into my locks. So I'm coming back and today is March 2nd. So this would be, I believe, my third week of me having my starter locks so far. And what I have noticed is that now I'm getting like a lot of these lint balls, these lint ball things here throughout my hair. Um, a lot of loose, straggly hair that I'm getting. You can see, uh, it's hard to see it, but yeah. So I'm getting those like all over my head you see one here and from the YouTube videos that I watched when you know I was doing my research and everything before I started my locks it was saying to leave those tangled ends on like don't rip them off or anything you're supposed to leave that as a part of the journey and then I guess when you retwist you can um, you know twist those into the locks that are nearby so yeah that's the only other difference i've noticed um outside of you know the thickening of the roots my roots are really thick here and um so the roots are thick but the twists are still kind of thin um so i'm just waiting for that to thicken up but you can see that the definition is starting to go away now from the locks definition is not as defined as when I first started so it's getting there all right so the back is looking real rough right now um this is how the back looks it's from you know my roots thickening up and everything and I haven't done any retwists yet I'll probably do that retwist next week or so but yeah this is how my hair is looking i'm very happy because my roots are thickening up that's what i wanted because i naturally have like thinner hair or low density hair whatever you want to call it but i'm loving it so far so if you are planning on getting locked you've been thinking about it for a while just go ahead and do it go ahead and do it you'll love it i'm only but three weeks in and i'm loving it already so imagine once I get, you know, six months in, a year in, two years into me being locked, it's gonna be heaven, amazing.
Hey, so today is March 16th. This is the fifth week that I've had my hair locked. Um, last Thursday, I believe on the 11th, I uh, retwisted my hair. Um, so it can be nice and neat. I had somewhere to go that weekend, so I wanted it to be nice and fresh. Now the thing is, I did um, a nice style for that weekend where I um, just took sections and kind of like flat twisted it to the side like that and then I had some hair out on the side and dressed it with some nice hair jewelry. Um, and I think because I did that, um, it kind of loosened my retwist in certain areas. So it's not as neat as it was last week, but it's okay. At least it looks more tamed and uniform than it was, you know, before I retwisted it. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how my hair looks now. So that was my progress of my log journey so far over these past six weeks. I will be recording more videos like this as the weeks go by just to continue to track my progress. So I'll be sharing that with you guys soon. Hopefully you stay tuned for that. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment that below. I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.